she was laughing hysterically. Or weeping, maybe. They had won. He ran to her. I killed my own father. She wept, and he held her. He told her he loved her. He would pull her back from the brink of madness. But the core thrummed louder oh. and louder. At that moment, Bernardo understood that the core was going to explode catastrophically. And that this could have been victory. The Emperor and his daughter dead. The fleet destroyed. He'd almost been a hero. A legendary one, maybe. If only he and the rebel fleet hadn't been here. Uh huh. There it is. Oh, again? That's all 24 stories. He had all the secrets he needed. He was sure of that. He there it is. Not used in the right way. Zephyr Zeekus. Oh, Zeekus. Worst mistake. The hero make. who never asked to be a hero who lets someone what else save the day. That traitor Lupino. Right. So, I might as well read these and then do the the actual true ending. Poker face. The Skyrim the legendary weapon that had banished the gods themselves, Renato assembled the super weapon, but even a hothead like him knew he should deal carefully with such an ancient and powerful artifact. He consulted with the experts who warned him that the weapon could destroy the very fabric of space and time. Renato's hopes were crushed, yet the ravens kept coming. Intent on stopping him, then it struck him. The Empire was likely unaware of the space of that space-time business, so he went, went with a bluff, bluff, God, threatening to use the Skyripper, forcing the Emperor to abdicate. The bluff failed, and Renato had no choice but to surrender. So, Hyperhero? The Sky Ripper, the legendary weapon that had banished the gods themselves, Renato was a cautious but decisive fo fox. When he assembled the weapon, he ran field tests, and when Zenobia warned him that the Sky Ripper was unstable, listened to her, adv her advice and took the weapon to the scholar, to a scholar for a checkup. Zenobia was the Empire uh, Emperor's daughter. She was an enemy, but Renato listened, just to be safe. That was the kind of cautious hero he was. When he finally joined the big battle, it was for the win. But all the caution in the world would not, could not stop the Skyripper from tearing a hole in space-time. It devoured the universe. And finally, we have Z, Z for Zeit. Is it Zeit or Zeet? Zeitgeist. Halfway through assembling the Skyripper, a legendary super weapon, Renato changed course to meet Zenobia, the Emperor's daughter. He did find her, only to be captured and was forced to reveal the location of the Skyripper's remaining piece, the core. The only, the only way out was to convince Zenobia to join the rebellion. He could show her proof of her father, of her father's madness, and he did as they witnessed the slaughter of innocent civilians by the Empire. Furious, she attacked her father, but it was too late. He had the car rigged into a weapon. Zenobia had the upper hand, and the car began to glow, and the entire battlefield was consumed by flames. Sheesh. Continue. The book's pages Here it is. The beginning once again. Time for the, the finale. And he fell. Clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. Mm. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens are scouting for the secret rebel base. I just really hope it points out a game changer. what the Pieces right path is. Like, we know that isn't it. We know the Iblis Stone isn't it. We know it's to do with Lapino. It must go. Lapino, Zenobia, Iblis Stone, Skyripper. Out of empty desert, right? Maybe? The Iblis stone was Just that's the order they're in. On the board. A dangerous artifact. We'll see. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. I'm excited. Maybe regardless. Way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course. Renato had a there it is. strong suspicion. The golden that key! Had the rebellion. And he had a gut feeling that he needed to use that to his advantage. Indeed. Let's do this. Right, so you can't make new old friends. The rebellion was out of time and Renato needed a game changer. Even though Lupino wasn't what anyone would consider a game changer, he could come up with some harebrained schemes. Maybe rescuing him was worth it. Renato finally Here it is. realized that Lupino was a traitor to the cause. And maybe Renato could use that somehow. So, Renato could use that somehow. What to do with the knowledge about Lupino's treason? Renato would be foolish to trust Lupino again. He should confront him, or better yet, find a way to use the traitor against his new master, the Emperor. Maybe Lupino could be a game changer after all. Uh oh. Renato couldn't quite put his paw on when he mm -hmm. realized Lupino was working for the Empire. 
He never exactly seen Lupino sending coded messages to the palace, but he was sure. The rabbit had been on too many disastrous missions where he was the only survivor or where he accidentally missed getting on the boat that went down to the abyss in flames. If Renato could prevent Lupino from getting back to the fleet with all the intelligence he'd probably gathered, it might be worth the trip. Oh shit! Wait, so are we going to kill Lupino? What? How had they come to this? Oh my god, really? We've been on so many adventures together. Lapino would Should all acquaintance be forgot? Four times, what? And Renato had rescued Lapino from at least two lynch mobs. What is our objective? Confront the traitor, Lapino. Oh my god, this is cool. It might be the same levels and everything, but I don't care. This is awesome. I'm mostly just curious as to what the dialogue's gonna be. Whoosh! Fuck. I was too busy switching my sh swords around. Aha! But he'd always felt that the rabbit resented him. The Pino was hilarious because he was so down on himself and everyone else. But behind the laughs, he wasn't a happy camper. Ooh, was this payback? Or did the Empire have his little white tail in a vice? Hmm. God, this music's weird. It's like so happy. The music's so happy, but what's happening is not happy. Like, Renato's... I, get, I don't know if it's a childhood friend, but long-time friend is a traitor. One hell of a pill to swallow. Hmm. On the plus side, it's the same levels we've already done, so getting through them fast is uh, kind of one of my specialties at this point. No, oh, you fucker. Hello. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Very nice. Lapino would betray him. The call was dangerous. Now, Renato had a fleeting idea that the two ideas went together somehow. And then it was gone again. Hmm. Ah, oh, damn ideas. They never stuck around when you needed them. I fucking dashed into it. That was retarded. That was my own fault too, but it was still retarded. I'm hoping none of those contain food. What the fuck? Before I do anything. Heal! So how is this gonna work? Bloody and exhausted, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing shuffling his favorite deck. Oh wow. Now that he knew this is interesting. Was, there are a few things about him that Renato didn't find so amusing anymore. You sent me an urgent message saying that you're in danger. Oh, I am. The ravens are coming. Now, I got a clever plan to kidnap Zenobia. Renato wanted to clap shackles on the rabbit and shout, You're a traitor, and I'm not falling for it. But if there was one thing Renato was sure of, it was that the core of the Sky River was dangerous mostly Ooh. to its user. If he could put it in the Emperor's hands, old Lysengrim III might blow himself and his fleet up with it. Yes. That was it. So what's this? Denounce the traitor. Renato realized how good an actor Lupino was. No surprise he has been fooled by that traitor. Maybe you should denounce the rabbit here and now and put put an end to his schemes and get some payback. Oh Denouncing the traitor seems like a bad idea. Whereas, maybe he could get that smug trait at the location of the Sky Ripper. And while Lupino del delivers the unstable weapon to the enemy, Renato would pay Zenobia a visit. Hmm. That's what I'm thinking. But I don't know, these are hard choices. <laughs> these are really hard choices. Hmm. I think I might try the car. Send him to get the car. Renato 
felt like a real hero, brave and smart. He told the rabbit all about the Sky Ripper's God's Eye core. I'll go get the core while you attack Zenobia, he told the rabbit. But wait, I've an even better idea. I'll get the core and you attack Zenobia. There it is, said the rabbit. Right, yeah, that is better, agreed Renato. Perfect. The traitor would make sure the Emperor got the core. Now Renato just needed the Emperor to use the core. If he could only get something that the Emperor wanted very badly. Zenobia. He could save her and bait the Emperor at the same time. Hmm. So. Right. Now, all Renato had to do was fight his way through Zenobia's invading troops, sneak onto her ship and into her bedroom, and kidnap her without any of her dozens of guards alerting her. Then, he would rely on her love for him to convince her how evil her father was, so she'd run away with him instead of going back to her father, who was going to blow himself up. Hmm. <laughs> it did sound a little risky. But Renato had a feeling it would work out somehow. It always did. So this is cool. We sent them to get the car, which means that's going to poison them, because the car seems to poison whoever picks it up. So Lapino's fucked. The only thing we have to worry about is the Iblis Stone. Which, although, I don't know, the Iblis Stone seems like a bad idea because it corrupts people. Do we want it to corrupt them? Did they not just turn into a killing machine? I don't know, the Iblis Stone's the only thing that's kind of throwing me off. We also need to get Zenobia on our side, which, I don't know, it might be easy, it might be hard. Whoosh! But I like this, it's, it's cool. I'm curious what would happen if you did denounce him, would it just end with a death? Maybe. I mean, I am kind of tempted to do another run through and, you know, pick those choices, but they might just be something I pick on my own. Maybe. Not entirely sure. But it worked. Whatever. Do we have to worry about... Oh, Lapino is here. Oh god, he looks, um, different. He's not stood up. Renato was halfway to Zenobia's encampment when Lapino showed up. Ah, oh, there we are. He was disheveled and distraught. They jumped us. I barely got away. Oh, they got the oh, floor. I see. Oh, it was all going according to plan, thought Renato. Now he just needed Zenobia on his side. Mm, yes, that was even better. The Iblis Stone. Zenobia could get it. And then the Emperor would have to pursue them. Wait, no. The gem would corrupt anyone, even her. That's it, he thought. Even Lapino. Even though Lapino was already a traitor, it would turn him against his secret master, the Emperor. He would try to make himself Emperor. And the Emperor would have to defend himself with the core. Boom. He was a genius. So, send Lapino for the Iblis Stone. This is terrible, when I told the rabbit. <laughs> terrible. If only I had gone for the Iblis Stone, but now it's lost in enemy territory. <laughs> he handed Lapino a map. It gives the bearer so much power. We can only hope the Emperor never finds it. What was that? Said Lapino. I, I, I think someone's following us. I didn't hear anything. Rabbit ears. You go on ahead. I'll check it out. And with that, <laughs> Lapino hopped off. Oh my god. Alright. Okay, I'm not gonna lie that this this ending seems to be Oh the tr the true ending I guess seems to be pretty damn obvious into what to do. Well, I just spun them round her a bit. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it doesn't point out the correct choices to make or anything, but... They are... A, they are pretty obvious. To be honest, that's not a bad thing, I'm just saying. 
making no sound at all. She was curled up on her bed. Mm, he'd forgotten how beautiful she was, how sleek, how soft. He tapped her on the shoulder with his sword. She was made of smoke, and he noticed he had a very solid blade to his throat. Did you really think you could capture me? Heard a familiar voice. I just wanted to chat, said Renato. Did you ever wonder why the Emperor adopted you? He needs a sacrifice. Someone who truly loves him to make a bargain with the lost gods. That's a vicious lie. He wants to bring them back. That, that, that's crazy. Why would anyone... They could make him immortal. An eater of souls. No. Oh. And with that, her eyes widened. She understood. Renato told her how he had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred. How he had slept in a burnt village. At midnight, the Emperor's victims had come to him in his dreams to tell him of the hideous eldritch rituals they'd been sacrificed in. He could still see those kittens and puppies. Their wide, sad eyes, their moist noses. You can't prove that. I've got a witness at the observatory. Whoa. Oh, all right. So this is chapter three. He couldn't tell her. Not yet. Why Once I know be about here. Daddy. He didn't want her to be anywhere near the fleet when her father blew himself and Lupino up. Oh, uh, okay. So he told her about how the Emperor's obscene rituals had raised ancient artifacts out of the land. How he'd followed the appalling trail of the hideous horrors His Majesty had perpetrated for the sake of his own immortality. Any of this ring a bell? He said, he told me it was all lies. You've always known when I was lying. I always hated that about you, said Renato. Hmm. The Shows an obvious proof. After atrocities that the Empire hushed up. Renato had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred for one book. He had slept in a burnt village. Dead kittens and puppies had come to tell him what the Emperor had done to them. Oh shit, I've just realised. I think that the scientists will actually be alive. They won't have been burned. In which case, Zenobia will be shown the truth. Oh, damn. That's, that's pretty nice. It's messed up, but it's pretty nice. Oh, fuck. I thought I... Mm, I thought I'd knocked him over. Never mind. Not like it matters. No, it's just I thought I had knocked him over. Uh, okay. Don't you think I'd know if my father started practicing black magic? Why? Would you join in? Uh, no. I destroy his books and and I. <laughs> oh God. Okay. You're not completely wrong. They've resurrected one of his victims. Well, look, I mean, look, it's not exactly alive, but it can talk. A true witness, she said. Hmm. Go oh, if we actually get to speak with that thing, that'll be nice. It's not happened yet. Well, because the observatory always gets burnt down otherwise. Because of the bloody empire. They've got other things to worry about. The Iblis Stone and other stuff. The Iblis Stone and the core. Not the armature, though. Giving them the armature and the core would have been a bad idea. Well, not only would it have actually been a weapon they could use, but it would destroy the world, so... Not really something we want to give them power over. Oh, fuck. I did not think that through. And whoosh. And again. Oh god. There you go. Surprised I was actually able to reach you from that far away. Hmm. I just wasn't expecting it. Fuck you. Oh, not the wraith. Anything but the wraith. Jesus. Oh, it's because the enemies are hitting me. I keep wondering why they're falling over. 
like right after they hit me. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> How weird. But yeah, it's one of my perks. It stops time and the enemy falls over. Sounds quite weird when you think about it. Right, we did it. <laughs> well, yeah, it does. You get hit. The enemy... Oh, it stops time. Freezes time. Enemy falls over. What? Oh, no, it has been burnt down. Shit. I thought it wouldn't have been. That shit. Oh, man. Damn it. I was... So oh, my God. I was so... Convinced. Dead scientists and black feathers everywhere. The ravens are taking special mm. care to burn the reanimated witness to cinders. Pardon me. Tobias stared at the carnage. He didn't want me to hear the witness, did he? I guess not. What's your plan? She asked. So, Renato explained his brilliant gambit. Sending Lapino to get the Ibla stone, become super powerful and corrupted, provoke the Emperor into using the core against him, thus blowing up both of them, and hopefully the fleet too. Let me visit your council, she said, shaken. I want to help. Could he really trust her? Oof. Trust her and take her to the rebel base. Yeah, I think we can. Trust her and take her to the secret base. Renato's plan worked. Zenobia was now convinced her father was mad and has to be had to be stopped. But it seemed too easy. Did he really convince her or was she playing him like a fiddle? Why hesitate now? He should tell her the exact location of the secret base and meet her there. Yes. Zenobia see how evil her father really was. He was, was there any doubt? Feel this urge to join in the rebellion. After all, he'd taken care of the Emperor, right? Yeah, but she'd always been conscientious like that. She told him she had to go somewhere first. So Renato gave her the location of the secret base and they agreed to meet in the ruins. He had a very good feeling about this. I don't. I don't know, it's just when I'm like, I'll go to the rebel base. Secret rebel base. And they're like, oh, I, I have to go somewhere first. What had Zenobia Just seems bad. What was more important than meeting the rebel council? Had he made a mistake? Sending her to the room? This is why we can't have nice things. No. With a chapter like that, it sounds like a bad idea. Her. He could trust her because she never broke her word. And she could trust him because she could see right through him. Fuck me. So he'd probably be there well before him. She at least didn't have to fight her way to rainstorms of ravens. Why hadn't the kid opened the Book of Destinies? At least he'd have known about that Goggler. Why hadn't I pay show? Goggler, that's the names. Or, and this was kind of terrifying. What if they had? And what had happened had been the best future they could find. Ooh. Oh no. That is pretty shit. The best thing they could find was... Dying at the hands... Well, not hands. Dying from a goggler attack. Oof. So they replayed their life several, several times. Only for their outcome to be getting turned into a pile of ash. Oh god. That is pretty grim. I never actually even thought about it. Because surely if they had access to the book, they would be able to technically changed their fate. As he came around the bend, there was Lupino. Uh oh. Unconscious on the side of the path. And Renato could smell a familiar, sweet... Zenobia's sweet. got the Iblis stone. Who? Zenobia. It had to be. She never used a combat spell when she could use drowsy gas. That meant... Oh shit. The Iblis stone. What would it do to her? She hated her father now. She'd kill him for sure. The council wouldn't mind if she killed the emperor, but murdering her father would destroy her. He had to get to whatever ledge she was on and talk her down from it. Oh no. So Lupino's... He ain't dead. Long so that's a, also an issue. So he was close to the rebel base. Nothing was on fire. So far so good. What hell? Some of these attacks that they pull off just... I don't know, they seem to happen too fast. I'm just not quick enough to react, I guess. I was to say, that in everything. That is... Level up! Coming back to him. He wondered what 
you'd remember next. Oh, I'm scared as to what the fuck's happened to Zenobia. Is she gonna be like the final boss? <laughs> Is this game even gonna have a boss? I don't know. It's one thing I am curious of. Everyone in the council chamber was dead. Zenobia stood shivering in the courtyard, drenched in blood. Oh no. Why? He managed. They they started arguing with me. I lost my temper and I, I wanted their blood. Well, not me. The stone did. Why did you take it from Lupino? I had a plan. You had a, a stupid plan, she said. I'm going to go kill my father now. No, you can't. You'll, you'll just take his place. You'll become worse than him. Get out of my way, or I'll kill you too. Get out of her way. So Zenobi had the Ebola Stone, now she was strong enough to defeat the Emperor, but the stone would consume her soul. Trying to stop her would likely be fatal, so it was best to just let her go and see how things play out. Stop her and the Ibla Stone. Oh, feelings! I never thought about that! So Zenobi had the Ibla Stone, now she was strong enough to defeat the Emperor, but the stone would consume her soul. Trying to stop her would likely be fatal, but the feelings she had for him had to mean something. Right? He had to try. Now would be the perfect time to play that. That card, because every other time we tried it just resulted in death. Oh. You won't kill me, he said. And I won't let you kill the Emperor. Enraged, she raised the sword. You hate him too? He could sense the Idler Stone, yearning for his death. But she didn't strike. If you kill him, he'll destroy you. I know you. Shut up! She shouted, her sword trembling. I won't lose you again. Not for anything. Get away from me! He said, and he was very close. I can't lose you again. And he was in reach of sword now. I hate him! I hate you too! I love you. He said for the very first time. And then she was weeping. He was holding her. The sword had dropped from her hand. He glanced at the Ibla stone. It was no longer the black of the void. It looked like coal. No. It glowed. Like a cinder. It was crackling, burning, crumbling into ashes. You've always loved me, haven't you? She said. She was weak. The stone had taken so much from her. Always, he said. She staggered as he helped her up. Let me take you away. Where? The island of Avalon. The sisters will heal you. He will follow us. Then we need the Farfarer. The fastest ship in the Empire. Is this going to be Chapter 5? Oh, okay. The Empire had seized his ship. To Avalon! They'd have to take it back. Oh. Interesting. I'm curious how this is going to play out differently. I'm also curious if, if the game's going to have a boss. Because there's been no bosses, which, I mean, I don't mind. A game doesn't necessarily need to have boss fights. I don't think so. More energy. There we go. Max potential. No, you don't. I'm gonna say you ain't fucking hitting me with that. Not again. Not after so many times of actually managing to hit me. No shape to fight. But he never fought so well. He wasn't fighting for money or loot or a cause. He was fighting for her. For them. Oops. His sword danced, his feet flew, and the ravens recoiled from his ferocity. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize that killed him. Not too bad. I'm just wondering where the hell the Farfair is gonna be. Fuck. That worked. Yeah! I mean, I'm not gonna get another level. Mm, don't think so. 
Oh, I could have used a chest. Shit. And there it was. His beautiful sky. Hey, would you look at where it is? Far it would fare very far indeed. Beyond the Empire. Beyond the reach of the Empire. To the mystical island of Avalon. He didn't know exactly where it was, but he knew he could find it. And they would find peace there. Second star on the right. And straight on till morning. Laughed Zenobia. And they laughed together for the first time in a long time. Mm -hmm. Let's go! I don't know if it slows down time. I don't know why it just looks so badass. There's that. Oh. Owned. No, you don't. Look at all. Oh, yeah. Well, we're nearly there. Question is, can I pull it off? Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. Ooh. -hoo. I got real lucky. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Woo! So now I've actually done it. Made it through all of it without having to wait for the fireballs to pass by. It worked out perfectly. Very nice. Which so this is going to take us straight to Farfaver. Huh. Oh god. Oh. Don't know why I got super worried. Like, oh no! Oh yeah. I dodged into them. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff happening. That's what I'm noticing. Getting a, a lot of energy. Holy fuck. I didn't want to hit them. Oh, it's because I had the... Maybe because I had the insta-kill? Not entirely sure. I got him! I got fuck here! <whistles> Whoa. Is that it? Are we done? But they did not go unnoticed. Scout ships lifted off. And a long lance of the Imperial flagship. Renato turned downwind to gain speed. The Raven ships could pursue, but they couldn't close. The far speaker croaked, you Return her and live! Go sacrifice yourself, yelled Renato. Then you won't have her either. On the flagship, the Emperor was readying some arcane weapon. It couldn't be. It was the core. A devastating beam lanced out of the flagship. Renato zigzagged wildly to keep the Farfair out of it. Now the Raven scout ships were closing the distance. And the beam was getting closer too. Then came a blinding flash, and the air was searingly hot all around him. There was a thunderous, deafening roar. He could smell burnt oak and burnt feathers and burnt flesh. But when he could hear and see again, they were alive and unhurt. And they were alone in the sky. Zenobia embraced him. They had done it. Huh. Through luck and through love, they had won the war. Avalon, here we come, he said as he held her arms wide in the prow of the boat and let her feel its speed. Maybe the real Avalon is wherever we're together, she said. And so, after a bit of an argument, Renardo and Zenobia went to one of the two Avalons. The one shrouded in mists. Or the one in their hearts. But which one they went to, I'll never tell. Oh. He'd done it. He'd there we go. Oh my god, that's he, awesome. Well, he hadn't actually done done it. But he knew what he would do. Renato smiled at the book. He practically wanted to kill The it. end. The kid's sacrifice Brilliant. had been in vain. He'd saved the book and saved the world. Renato owed him and his mother so much. Renato lowered the mainsail. 
and let the Farfarer shoot forward in the breeze. Second star to the right, and straight on till morning. This time, he would win. <laughs> oh man, that was impressive. Even though the game had no, like, you know, final boss, I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> it was really good. Created by Spearhead Games. Or is it Studios? Spearhead Games. Very good. Very, very good. I just like the fact there was so much choice. Even with the, the true ending, there was a lot of choice. But I have a feeling it would just end with, You died. So I'm quite glad that I managed to choose the right stuff. Because, to be honest, even if the other stuff led to unique dialogue or whatever, I don't think it would be worth having to redo the ending all over again. Because I think that's what probably would happen. So, yeah. At least the first one would re it'd require you to do the levels over again. To be fair, it'd only actually add on an additional... There's four choices. Maybe an additional 20 minutes, but still, I don't really want to spend that much time on it. Hot damn. Are we able to view the the true ending? As in, like, the story? Whoa. There we go. Congratulations, the hero path completed. Reward. Iblis Stone and Sky Ripper are always active. Holy shit, that's overpowered. Yeah, I don't actually want to play. I want to view the stories, because I'm curious if the hero story actually lets me view it. Oh, it doesn't? That's bullshit. It should. Either way, we found, or we got, every single story. This game was really impressive, I liked it. I like how all of these were to do with Lupino, these were all to do with Zenobia, these were all to do with the Iblis Stone, and how many people they fucked up. And this was all to do with the... Sky Ripper. Actually, no, that was more so the core. Yeah, I mean, like, this just looks like it's the Sky Ripper, but it's actually just the Sky Ripper's core that's unstable and caused so many things to fuck up. Either way, that is gonna be the end of Stories The Path of Destinies. This game was really, really good. And, like, it's a game that wouldn't even take you all that long to get through, I don't think. The only reason it's taken me eight sessions or however many parts is purely because I decided I wanted to do every single story and so I did and to be fair once you start getting through or once you've like opened every one of the um like elemental doors gate things and opened all the red chests gotten the most upgraded gems that you can that's when you can quite literally just zoom through the missions in five four five minutes it's really not hard, because you don't need to do any exploring, because you've already, like, maxed out your swords, maxed out your... your, um, your gems. So the only thing that really matters is getting through the missions. Or the chapters. Either way, that's going to be the end of Stories of Path of Destinies. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed this adventure, and until next time, take care.